Hi, my name is David Pai, and I'm a Deputy Attorney General at the State of California's Department of Justice. We are lawyers, but a special type of lawyer, where we represent and advise state agencies and the government officials running those agencies. I've been asked to answer three questions posed by high school students in Hawaii. What my typical work day is like, why someone would not want my job, and what is the best part of my job? I think these are great questions to ask for anyone thinking about pursuing a career not just in law, but in being a lawyer for the government. Before I begin, I want to give a shout out to Cora and Alana for doing this Career Chronicles project. It is deeply heartening to see young people in Hawaii not only take an interest in wondering how they can make their best contributions to this world, but also to help their peers navigate these daunting and personal questions as each of you navigate your own journey into adulthood. Now, on to those questions. First, what does my typical day look like? Well, government lawyers like me don't really have a typical day. And because I'm recording this video in the middle of a global pandemic, the answer is even more complicated. Even before the pandemic, every day is somewhat unique. Some of us go to court more often than others, while others provide guidance to our elected or appointed leaders on public policy matters. My own practice involves a little bit of both. A big part of my day is working with policymakers on climate change, housing, and land use issues for the state of California. My other colleagues work on criminal law, employment, civil rights, tax, and a whole host and variety of other issues. But for all of us, that means we get to work on different factual and legal problems at any given time. Giving advice to policymakers, such as the governor's office, and talking to experts on solving our state's most pressing problems. Much of my time involves playing out a lot of what-if scenarios. Things like, what if we wrote the law or regulation in a certain way? Would there be unintended consequences? Would it conflict with other laws? Or what if we brought an enforcement action against a person or a company? Would it be upheld if challenged? Every decision our government makes has pros and cons that needs to be weighed, and oftentimes they rely on lawyers to weigh those risks before making a tough decision. It's pretty exciting and fun. So if you like social studies or history, or if you're just generally curious about how the world works, you'll enjoy your workday as a government lawyer. The other half of my practice is working on existing lawsuits, either filed by or brought against the state. Those days look more like what you see lawyers do on TV, although in real life the process is much more slower and a lot less exciting. I could be spending my days writing a motion or interviewing witnesses or taking or defending depositions, which is a fancy term for simply asking formal questions to a witness or a party about a case. If I'm at trial or preparing for a trial, I'm going through my checklist to make sure I have everything I need, working with my staff to get my exhibits in order, talking to my expert witnesses, and making sure the judge and jury understands our side of the story. If the matter is on appeal, meaning a judge or a jury has already made a finding or ruling and a party is challenging that ruling, then I could be spending time either reviewing the record or drafting a written brief that is submitted before a hearing, which we call oral argument. It's not really an argument though, it's just an opportunity to the court uh, to ans ask and answer any questions they may have after you have submitted a brief. And though we call them briefs, it is anything but. Some briefs can be hundreds of pages long. So if you like reading and writing and enjoy talking about them either in class or at a book club, then being a lawyer could be pretty fun for you. Now, before the pandemic, a lot of our work is done in person, in the courtroom, traveling to a court reporter's office, or visiting the state agencies we represent. We're always meeting people, either witnesses, department chiefs, or other attorneys across the state. But since the pandemic, like everything else, everything we do is done remotely, even trials. So we're in our offices or at home, 
staring in front of a computer screen. It's not ideal because you don't feel the emotions rise or fall as you do in a courtroom when you're face to face with a witness or a jury. So I hope we get back to court soon. But it also means I don't have to wear a suit and tie and I can pretend I'm still living in Hawaii and wear Aloha shirts to work every day. All right, second question. Why would someone not want to have my job? Great question. So a lot of people assume that all lawyers make a lot of money. And while some lawyers do make bank, government lawyers sadly do not. To be sure, and this depends on how much experience you have, most government lawyers do make a very good living. But compared to some of our counterparts in private practice, we tend to earn less for doing the same amount of work and being under the same, if not more, level of stress. You've probably heard of the phrase that the law is a calling. I think this is especially true if you want to be a prosecutor, public defender, or public interest lawyer. But the process to become a lawyer is expensive. You have to graduate from college, then go to three years of law school, which is not cheap. Most of us graduate from law school owing over $100,000 in student loans. Even if you go to a public law school, as I did, you then have to pass your state's bar exam before you can even practice law. And then you have to be lucky enough to find work as a new lawyer with no guarantee that someone will hire you. And you have to be lucky enough to find work you enjoy doing to sustain yourself as you gain experience and build your own practice. This is why so many lawyers burn out and quit. So if you want to make a ton of money, there are other professions with easier and more assured paths to do so. But if you hear the call of the law, that is, if you care about issues and enjoy debating about them, if you like solving problems and you care about people and you want to do your part in shaping the world to become a better place, then there is no better job out there. Okay, last question. What is the best part of my job? Now, while I may not be as wealthy as my private lawyer colleagues, the best part of my job is I get to stand up and say, good morning, Your Honor, David Pye for the people of California. I get to work on cutting edge issues like climate change, advising the governor on how to create bold new environmental policies. I get to work on important but difficult issues like how to take care of the homeless during the pandemic and beyond. I get to make sure all Californians have a right to enjoy its rivers, parks, and beaches while respecting the rights of private property owners who paid a lot of money to enjoy living near those rivers, parks, and beaches. I get to work with our local government, like cities and counties, to make sure they change their laws so that our state can build more affordable housing making sure that everyone, not just the lucky few, can live and thrive in popular areas like Los Angeles and San Francisco. So in a nutshell, being a government lawyer means you get to work on these difficult issues and make a difference. And that, to quote Robert Frost, has made all the difference. Mahalo Hawaii. I wish you well and I can't wait to visit home again. And I wish all you Hawaii teens out there the best as you think about and pursue your career dreams and goals. Thank you.